Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the GBL Goldman Grand Final. With the, was it, we've got the Pioneers versus the North Brisbane Dragons. And we are totally not on any team. Go Dragons. <laughs> All right, I'll go with fairness. <laughs> go Pioneers. Or Dragons. Uh, we've got the Dragons here. Very well-known club around Brisbane basketball. Been around forever, like me. Pioneers, fairly new kids on the block. Not a, not an old club at all, but they are growing in stature and just to make things extra juicy. Coached by ex Dragons coaches, the Tarrants. So the Tarrants up against Sean Connolly, very old friends from Dragons and Brisbane Capitals basketball, set to do battle. Do do battle, do battle tonight. Yep, do battle. And we have no shortage of NBL1 talent on show. Oh, Just on the Dragons, we have Anthony Kopsikis from the Capitals, Rami Cody from the Pirates, Christian Pang from the Pirates, Tim Sung, future NBL star from the Capitals. We have Toto from the Capitals. We have Stefano from the Capitals <laughs> and Kai Woodfall, the walking, talking bucket from the Pirates. Yeah. On the Pioneers side of things, we have, uh, did I say Pirates or Pioneers? Pioneers, yeah. Pioneers, yeah. 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 May as well be the Pirates. <laughs> got Gideon Machando. We have Paul Paul. We have Alec Godnett. We have Michael Fleming in from Ipswich. Ethan Taif from the Capitals. Joel Matasek from the Pirates. Jacoby Hunter from the Pirates. Caden Bardell from the Pirates. And Brandon Edwards from the Pirates. And that's going to be Pioneers. Ooh. Yeah, made it. Good job, buddy. That's going to be Pioneer's ball after Dragons lost the tip. So, guys, in future, if you have an opportunity to come out and watch these finals, please do so because you're essentially getting free yeah. access to an NBL 1 game because that's what's all on the floor as, you, as we speak. Tim Song to Ankops kids there. Up, in. Cody there knocking that one down for two points. Yeah, Rami Cody, a Dragons junior. He's, he's played a lot of years for the Dragons. Would love to see him in a Capitals uniform one time. Or well, many times, I should say. Jo go Jacoby Hunter looking to go inside. Blocked there by two players, Tim Song. Going upstairs. Rami Cody again, another two points as Dragons get out to an early 4-0 to zero lead. Pioneers kicking it round from three. Short on that one. As Kai Woodford bringing that ball down and straight away looking to push the ball way up the court. Again up in the air. Two points. I see good. the Dragons bench getting up for the first time. They're loving that end one play from Rami. As we see the Dragons getting out to an early 6-0 lead. In the first minute and 12 seconds. Rami Cody knocking down that one as well, making it 7-0 over the Pioneers. Oh, Majok. Couldn't get that one to go. As the refs just conferring. And then Dragons ball. And Kopskis chucks this one into Woodfall. Fleming on him. Into Tim Song. That's oh. just great ball movement from the Dragons there. And it's a very simple zone offense. <laughs> one I ran for many years under head coach Sean Connolly. It's Fleming. Oh. oh, looked like a touch there on the ball from Tim Song, but after the foul. All they're looking for is a high post entry made famous by Michael Jimison and Daryl Trim. And then from there, you can make a play in the high post, drive to the hoop, or dump down to the short corner player. It's very simple, very effective zone offense. As the majority of the pioneers heading over to have a chat with Coach Tarrant. No rebounders. Pioneers trust even after Fleming misses the first. Warranted, knocks down the second. 
Woodfall. Kopskis. Woodfall, it's Tim Sung. Oh. Toto, just a bit behind him there though. Woodfall for three. Can't get that one. Straight up. Oh, Rebound and two points from Rami Cody. Rami's looking to have himself a night tonight. Certainly is. Fleming. Back to Hunter. Gets it up for three. A little long on that one. Looks like a foul there on Jacoby Hunter. Sorry, Caden Bardell. Dragons ball base. Woodfall looking to push. Fleming again on him. Kopskis. Matasek getting the tip but couldn't control the ball. Still 17 seconds left on the clock for the Dragons. Tim Song. To Kopskis. Bit of space now. Oh, lovely move. Gets oh, it to oh. roll off the side of the rim there. Gets that Grafton roll. Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. That Viking stuff. It's real. All right. We have Dragons 13, Pioneers 1. 12 point lead to the Dragons currently. All right, mate. You're, you've uh, played with one Mr. Connolly before. What do you think he's saying in that particular huddle down there? I think he's. Um just judging off his body language on a few plays there, I think he's addressing um, the high post entry, or sorry, the entry from the high post down to the short corner or all those cutters. Um, future NBL star Tim Song, a few times he, he's sort of thrown the ball behind or just been a bit too quick to throw that ball rather than reading that backdoor cutter. So whilst he's going to be stoked with the start they've had, there's still a few little things that they can work on just to... Make sure they're taking advantage of all the opportunities they get. All right, there's Pioneers. Other than that, he's probably just reminding them that I'm the best player that's ever played for him. So that's just what I assume is going on in the huddle. Okay, so we're still in fantasy land. Good, good stuff. <laughs> good, good, good stuff. Well, hopefully some of that was accurate because the end of it wasn't. <laughs> As Fleming's about to chuck this one back into Matasek for the Pioneers. Rami Cody giving him all sorts of Harry. Yeah, just lost his footing there. Uh -huh. Pirate on pirate crime. Not a sec. Fleming now. Kicks it out. And keep. Fleming for three. <laughs> oh. I was about to say, keep an eye on Fleming. We, we've seen him in the NBL 1. Not very big, obviously, but geez, he is fast. He is very quick. Yes, as Majok Majok knocks down that three. Stretching Pioneers to four now. Dragons on 13. Lovely Tim pass. Silver reverse off the glass. That was uh, Toto down to Tim Sung. Two Capitals players connecting on that bucket. Kobe Hunter. To Fleming for three. Put up a couple. Oh, and they both look good. He just mm -hmm. hasn't quite got the roll. Woodfall. Uh, has, has Woodfall taken a shot yet, Mel? I don't believe he uh, has. Yes, I believe so. He has? Oh. As we see the Dragons now on 17, Pioneers 4. Matasek. Majok, Majok. Woodfall getting that one away from him. And looking up inside. Nice pass. Almost. Toto couldn't get that one to go go. Oh, oh. Woodfall. Cops kiss. Woodfall from the corner again. Tim, Tim Song. Song is way too big for Fleming there. That's Tim money. Song from the corner. Oh, it's overcooks Timmy. it. You always do that to me. <laughs> is that four or five goes at the offense there? Dragons just couldn't get the Yeah, and that's in. really worrying for Pioneers. Jacoby Ooh. Hunter. Yeah, now look, some may say that wasn't a great shot, but Jacoby Hunter, he averages double figures in NBL 1, so you don't do that by accident. No. Good fall. Kicking around. It's going to be pinged for a foul there. It'll be baseline ball, Dragons. Majok Majok on that one. Hands foul. As Tim Sung's going to take a seat, as we say, Christian Pang stepping in. 
Christian Pang also plays uh, NBL for the par NBL one, sorry, for the Pirates. Mm. Not afraid to chuck him up from three either. No, not at all. Kopsky is deep. Toto would fall. This is left. Pang couldn't bring that one down. Matasek. Fleming kicking back to Matasek. Looked like a bit of a travel there for Mond. Hunter. Oh, Ooh. lovely no looker. <laughs> lovely no looker there. And he let Toto know all about it. <laughs> Just noticed uh, Matasek has the name Soapy on the back of his jersey. So I'd love to know if there's a bit of a story there around that nickname. And maybe we can ask him one day. As Pioneers have this one base, Manasek's going to hand this one off to Fleming. We'll get back underway with 4 minutes 25 seconds left in the first quarter. Northside Dragons on 17, Pioneers on 9. Kobe Hanna getting it in the air. Lovely move. But That's going to be a go-to for Pioneers tonight, I think. He's sort of scoring every time he touches the ball at the moment. In his own now. Again. Four, Pang, Kopskis. It's past the first, kicks it to Pang. Good fall. Pang in those lovely Kobe five rings. Mm. Yeah, not everyone's taste. Oh, lovely little defensive stop there from the Dragons. Teamwork makes the dream work, boys. In the corner, gets it up. Toto oh. with the save off the glass. Chalk that up as an assist. Hunter now with the ball. Cops on him. Oh, Ooh. he's feeling himself. Watch out. In a good way. <laughs> Stroking now. In a PG way. <laughs> out to Woodfall. Into the key. Drops it off to Toto. Two points. As Dragons step it up to 21 points. Pioneers on 14 with three minutes and nine seconds left in the first quarter. Matasek not liking the hands there. Hunter to Matasek over near the corner. Gets that one to drop as Pioneers step this one up. Shorten that lead now to four points. They're on 17. Yeah, Matasek an absolute sniper in NBL 1. You cannot leave him open. Kopsikas for Speaking three. Speaking of. <laughs> There's the grafted version, buddy. Matasek to Fleming to Hunter. That was read very easily from Kopskis. Yes, it was indeed. As was that. As we see Badnon. Getting that one. Matasek. Oh. Looked a little rushed in the fire, but got it in. It's all that matters. Yeah, and if, if Matasek and Hunter get going, this game could get very interesting. As we see Rami Cody getting fouled again. Matasek starting to fire up a little bit here. Not liking the calls. Daryl, the ref, doesn't seem too phased by it, though. No. Used to play with Eastie back in the day. Very long time ago. Gets that first free throw to drop. Does Rami Cody. Looking for the second one now. Northside Dragons on 25. Pioneers on 20. Make that 26. As we have a substitution now. As Rami Cody takes a seat. And Stefano Delorio will step in. For the Dragons as they take a six-point lead in the last two minutes of the first quarter.
Pioneers moving it around the top. Now looking inside, back outside. Overcooks that one. Pang with a long rebound. Pang at the elbow. Good fall. Screen coming from Pang. Fleming getting a touch, but couldn't, couldn't track it down. 11 seconds left on the shot clock. As we say, Alistair McCullough, Alistair Campbell, sorry, checking in with Ant Kopsikis taking a seat. Woodfall. Taking it to Toto. Straight across now to Campbell. Shot clock expiring though. And that's going to be Pioneers heading back in the other direction. We all quick smart. Fleming's going to chuck this one to Matasek. With a minute 24 left in the first quarter. Around the top there. Bardell to Matasek. Wasn't clean, but got there in the end. Badman going in. It's getting it Didn't up. Didn't get the roll. Toto with the rebound. Handing off to Woodfall. Pang back to Woodfall. Oh, just couldn't get that one to drop. Toto tips it back <laughs> in, but that's going back to Pioneer. Yeah, tried ball. to play it off Badman's <laughs> legs. Didn't quite pay off this time. Fleming. The Bardell screen goes up. We'll be going to the line for two. That's that speed I was talking about with Fleming earlier. He, he's definitely not the biggest player on the court, but when you've got that first step and that speed to blow by the players that are bigger than you, it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Not when you've got that kind of speed. Fleming with his first. Very short on that one. Just with the shot. <laughs> Can he make the adjustment? Does. Dragons now on 26. Pioneers 21. Five points back. Long two. Can't get that one to go. Oh, Stefano gets that one. Gets the rebound. Puts it back in off the glass. We go in the last 30 seconds of the quarter. Fleming loses that one. Toto ahead. Huh. Long two. Toe on the line. Nine. It's going to be two points in the corner for Toto. As Dragons step this one out a little bit late in the quarter. 30 points now to 21. Nine point lead late. Seven seconds left. Fleming fouled early. We'll be That's going to the line for two. that a shooting foul. It must oh. have been just as he picked up the ball, I'm assuming. As we see Matasek for Hunter swap from the Pioneers. Fleming heading back to the line. Where he was 50% on his last trip. Gets the first one to go. And the second one as well, 100% that trip. Two seconds left. Can Woodfall get something up? Too late. And didn't go in. As we see, Northside Dragons on 30 points. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Pioneers, seven points back on 23. Pretty uh, frenetic start to this game. Dragons jumped out to a double-digit lead. And then we saw Pioneers just catch fire from deep, which really pulled it back in. Finish on off the quarter. Dragons grabbed the momentum back a bit, hence the seven-point lead. But both teams have shown that this game can swing each way very quickly. Yeah, and a little bit of frustration already from the Pioneers. So we'll have to see if that... Uh, sure, sure, I'm very sure they'll be able to keep their heads in the game, but... Um, might be a little bit might be a little bit more frustration come out as this game goes on as the calls do not necessarily go the way people think they should all right we're going to get back to some 
Some basketball action here. It'll be Dragons ball. As they start the second quarter with a seven point lead. Pang's gonna chuck this one in. And we'll get basketball back underway. Side, back out, would fall now. Fleming with lovely hands from behind. Stefano. Bardell just disrupting that enough. That's going to be Pioneer's ball from the base. McInerney just losing control there. Into Fleming. And a scene we're used to seeing. Jeff Tarrant gets the stop. Still not happy about something. <laughs> Hunter. Gotta love him. Gets that ball way up in the air, Hunter does on those threes. Can't get it to drop. Pang, that's going to be a long two, foot on the line. Badman with the rebound, though. Hunter, back to Badman. Oh, oh I don't know about that one. Yeah. A, that's an extremely tough call. Yes. Very <laughs> tight, but... I think he had both feet over anyway, but even if it was close, geez, that's a tough call. Dragons ball from the side. Alistair Campbell. Chuck this one in. We're back underway. Liking the intensity from Pioneers on the defense. Stefano though. Knocking down that two-pointer. Hunter. Looks his way inside into a triple team. Finds Fleming in the corner for three. And it nice. drops. That's a great pass out of traffic. Campbell across the top to Pang. Stefano back to the top to Woodfall. Bardell with the rebound. Lovely hands there from the Pirates causing the turnover. Bang, from three, left. Foul there, looks like it's going to be on Bardell. No, Badman. Baseline ball, Dragons. As we have a delay of game warning here from Eastie, referee. For the Pioneers. Ball thrown away, I believe. Dragons now. Pang from the elbow. Double team. It's going to be pink for the travel there. So see very little emotion there from Sean Connolly, Dragons head coach. Hunter. Madden in the corner. It's going up. It's Bang. gone in. That's going to shorten the airspace between these teams. Dragons on 32. Pioneers now on 29. Eight minutes left in the half. Bang. Back to Woodfall. Gets it up. Hasn't been afraid this evening. Yeah. There he is from three. And Kai Woodfall averaging 21 points per game in the NBL Kicks one. Kicks to the corner. Up. In again. And that's oh. going to tie us up here. 32 points apiece for Dragons and Pioneers. I believe we've got Bardell picking up a foul there inside. Pushing Campbell down. Straight back into it. Nothing in it. Pang. Stefano. It's it up. It's going to be Hunter. Good to go. Batting him now. Back to Hunter, to Badman, from three, gets it to go. Dragons now. Huge run for Pioneers right now. Is this getting straight into the Brisbane Facebook page? Badnam now. What was I saying? <laughs> I, don't know, I, I don't actually listen to when you speak, man. I can't really turn off. That's no, right. I was about to say, I'm not sure why 
good friend Sean Connolly hasn't called a timeout to try and weather this storm here, whether he's going Greg Popovich style and asking his team to play through this adversity or not sure, but uh, we'll see if Dragons can get, get this momentum back. Depends which uh, pop you're talking about, Spurs pop or uh, so USA I mean, pop. Oh, well, yeah, jeez. We won't start on that here, but, I mean, our podcast will definitely be covering that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tim Sung now looking inside. Ten seconds left on the clock. Pang, fog two. Splashes that one. It's another long two. We've seen yeah. a few of those yeah. already in this so half. Had his foot on his line or just inside? And turns out it's Jeff Tarrant who calls a timeout for Pirates. Oh, Pirates. Pioneers even. As we see the north side Dragons on 34. It's showing 35 to the Pioneers. I believe that's a... No, that's correct. No? That's correct. That's correct, yep. yep. 34 to the Dragons. Pioneers now with the one-point lead on 35. Uh, up on your screen, you'll see Ball Don't Lie Australia. What a beautiful graphic. Oh, it, it certainly is. Um, it's available Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your good podcasts. Myself and Dan pump this one out every week. Um, just covers basically all of Australian basketball and NBA, WNBA, NBL, WNBL, and all your NBL One news. And, of course, the Olympics news as well. Tokyo International Sports Carnival, I believe. Yes, that's what we like <laughs> to call it. Uh, we also have some great interviews. Uh, we've had uh, last week we had Boston Maslin and heard it here first. Drops tomorrow. A great interview with NBL One uh, star from Rockhampton and also WNBL star uh, Lara McSpadden. And so. we won't drop a name, but next week we will have an NBL player being interviewed on our show. Mm. Woodfall. Oh. Trying to get contact there. Couldn't get it to go. Fleming <laughs> hops into the bench. He's okay. That's going to be Dragon's ball from the side. <laughs> Again, a sight we're used to seeing. <laughs> Jeff Tarrant and his players screaming at each other across the court. <laughs> I love to see it. They can, they can have a nice, quiet conversation about it now. As Matasek, Matasek jumps in there for Jacoby Hunter. Good fall to Pang. To Sung. Back across to three. Can't get that one to go. Fighting inside. Gets out of the key quickly. Not quick enough, apparently. No, no. no. C Cody stayed. Um... McInerney did his best to get out of there as quick as he could. But uh, Cody got pinged for the three second. Jock with Jock. Kicks it. And a sec. Can't get that one to go. Tim Sung with the rebound. Looking to fire. Cody gets something up. Doesn't drop though. Pioneers rebound. And a sec. Fleming now. Both finding a defensive handful in Tim Sung. Gets it inside. Nice dump down. Badman there with the two points. And now a three-point lead for the Pioneers with five minutes 20 left in this quarter. Pang. Double teamed with hands. Tim Sung was open there. Let's it fly though to Cody. The jock to Matasek. Now to Badman. Great D from Kai Woodfall there. Matasek for three. Can't get that to go. Woodfall with the rebound. No. Oh. Yes, yes, Look yes. Eventually tracks it down after a while. Matasek picking up a foul there. It's going to be Dragon's ball side. Kai Woodfall just throwing himself all around the place there. You love to see it. He's going to be rewarded with a little breather here. That's Matasek's second foul there that he's picked up. As we see, Anthony Kopsk is checking back in with Toto as well for the Dragons. Tim Sung from three. That's an Swish. air ball, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your ears deceive you. <laughs> uh, for when we send that off to the NBL scouts, just edit that one out, all right? Yep. 
moving on. Trim, trim. Matasek now. To Badnam. Oh, and. Yeah. And such a gentleman, always up to give someone a hug. Hey, Good bloke. I, I'm sure he just thought Badnam was falling over and just wanted to help him, but he's put two arms around, and that's, that's going to be an easy foul call there for the referee. Don't get much simpler than that one. Fleming from the side. Oh. oh. Gets it up. Gets it in. And we saw Kopska slip on the decal there. You can't see it on the broadcast, but there is a sticker on the floor there. He's, <laughs> that's all he slipped on. Kopska's there now. Kicks to Tim Sewell. Gets up in the that's air. Timmy. Gets the two points. As we have Northside Dragons now on 36. Four points behind the Pioneers. Good and A gets that one to go. Stresses to six. Tim Sewell looking to push. Matasek. They're in defense, though. Toto. Back to Kopskis. To Cody on the baseline. Gets a little bit of space, but Badman just too strong. Yeah, not gets the block. Here. Fleming looking to go inside and out against oh, That's a tough call on Kopskis. He did about all he could in that situation. Yeah. A little bit unsure as to what he's done wrong there by looks. They've called him for a foul on the arms, and he had both his hands up in the air. Anyway, here's what it is. Time out. Tis indeed. We've got the Northside Dragons on 36. And the Pioneers with a six-point lead on 42. As we see some of our... Referees just stopping, grabbing a breather, having a chat. We've got Sean Connolly over there talking through something furiously with the, the Dragons. It's a different time out now to the last one we had. Last time Dragons had the lead, now they're behind by six points. What do we think is going on in that one there, Daniel? Daniel, it's like when I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Thought my wife was at home. Uh, wow. <laughs> Look, uh, it, it's just their offensive execution. They're, they're throwing a lot of deflected passes at the moment. So, Shawnee will be trying to just make sure everyone's in their right spots and we're throwing the correct uh, pass types for whatever context they're in. So, got to look after the ball a bit more. Hit these open shots. Fleming puts up the first. Uses every bit at his, his <laughs> at his disposal and gets that first one to go. Gives a couple of ghost high fives to yep. his teammates that aren't there. Pioneers happy to let their free throw shooters shoot these ones. That's why. Yep. Even we couldn't <laughs> curse him, and we curse everybody, <laughs> even our own team. Hasn't Often. proved to be a negative strategy as yet. Tim Sung now to Toto in the corner. Cody with the rebound. Just a nice, nice little block there from Gordon May. Gets the ball back. One-on-one -on -one against Tim Sung. Not as easy as it looks. Defensive stop there. Okay. Fleming oh. just lands pretty much on top of Cody there. Nothing in Fleming it. Fleming going up. <laughs> just players going up and players coming down. Everybody's safe. All good. We've got the Dragons on 36 with the Pioneers now out to eight-point lead with three minutes and 14 left in the second quarter. Cody gets this one to go. Second one now. Can't get the second. Matasek with the rebound. Straight to Majok, Majok, Majok. Oh, lovely hands there from Cody, but a little, <laughs> bit, of, a little bit of a push with the other side, it looks. That's, I believe Dragons are in the bonus. No, sorry, it's... No, Piney is in the bonus. Yes. Fleming from the side now. In that a sec. Got an A down to Fleming. Little guy going into the tall timber, getting up and getting fouled again. He'll be going to the line. And again, just trust. Trust here from the Pioneers that these ones are going to go in. Very confident.
confident young man is Fleming. He's quick on the chirp and <laughs> letting everyone around him know what he's doing on the court. Yep. But to this point, he, he's been backing it up. Yes, I finally did it. <laughs> <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Surely he will not miss two in a row. Couldn't happen. Oh, oh by uh, myself. <laughs> uh, as we see Pang driving in, getting up in the air, deflected there. So that's going to be Dragon's Ball again with 15 left on the shot clock. Good fall. Gets it around to Pang. Straight into a double team. Yeah, dribbled himself right into trouble there. Yeah. Kopskis just losing the Kopskis. handle, thanks to Majok Majok, heading forward to Fleming, oh. who looked rather confident there. Looked like he was going to try and get up, but lay up two points either way. And kicks it to Woodfall in the corner, and that is oh. Woodfall's first three in a while, it feels like. As we have the Dragons on 40, Pioneers on 46, with two minutes and 15 seconds left. Boy, oh boy, the, the Dragons half. needed that. Oh, yes. Need about three more now, too. Matasek going inside, dishing to Badnan. Gets it to go. Even with the defensive pressure. Good fall to Kopskis. Almost instantly double teamed. Susie picks it up. Timsel. Back to Woodfall. A little bit warmer, but can't get that one to go. Toto tries to tip it up. Can't get that one in. Oh. <laughs> Ant diving literally on the ball that time. And that's going to be Pioneer's ball. Uh, Never one to let a uh, loose ball go untouched, is he? Oh, <laughs> nope. Feel free to bet on him to, uh, to not dive on those. You'll lose your money <laughs> almost every time. Gamble responsibly, as always. Jacoby Hunter now. To got an A. Got a sec. Paying on him. Gets it up. Can't get it to go. Payne comes down with the rebound. And Woodfall straight away looking to push. Kopsikas stepped into the defender there. Woodfall from the elbow. Pang. Like he's going to go up for another long. Gets him in the air. That's going to be a travel though. And that's going to be Pioneers ball from the side as we have the Northside Dragons on 40. Pioneers 48 with a minute 13 left in the half. Hunter, Hunter into the jock, the jock. Tim Sung there playing some solid D to Woodfall. <laughs> well done from Jacoby yeah, Hunter there. Majok Majok has tipped that one out, though. Dragons had almost a three-on-one there. And yeah, just could not get the, couldn't get it to go. Yeah, Hunter played his angles well and made life as difficult as he could. Got the result for Pioneers. Tim Song kicks it across to Ant. Gets it up. Gets it in. Oh, geez, With 50 that. seconds left in the, in the half. Shortens that airspace to five points. Oh, lovely... Lovely move there from Madden. Hands foul there from Anthony Kopsikis. That is going to be his third. He picks up just before the half. And Madden goes to the line. Two free throws to shoot. The point is, just don't seem any interested in offensive boards or free throws. Focusing more on getting back and just ensuring there's no transition offense from the Dragons. Yep. Saving two instead of possibly scoring. So far working well. As they now have a seven point lead. Dragons ball base. Woodfall. Tim Song for three. Gets it to go. Gorgeous roll. Wasn't going to miss two in a row, was he? Oh, no. He's now hit one in a row. How go I? The jock. Up in. No, couldn't get it to go. Pang ahead. Looking upstairs. Oh, backwards, beautiful. Up. Oh, Dragons just can't get that one to go. Double dribble. Even though it got uh, 
Seemed to get tapped there by Toto. Jacoby Hunt is going to be pinged for the double dribble. It's going to be Dragon's ball with 10.7 seconds left in the half. Only four points down now, Dragons. It was out to eight. Five seconds left. Would fall for three. Oh, oh splashes that one. Never one to shy away from a bucket. Sure isn't, as we have the Dragons on 49 going into the half. One point behind. Pioneers on 50. We're going to step away for a very short break, and we'll be right back to start the second half. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, to start the second half of the GBL Gold Medal Grand Final for men. Pioneers have a one-point lead, 49-50 to the Pioneers over the Northside Dragons. Got an A, firing it in. Fleming, can't get that one to go. Got an A rebound, straight up, two points. Three-point lead now over the Dragons, the Pioneers have. I would fall with the jock for jock on him. Tim Sung in the corner. Oh, short on that one. Cody back to Woodfall. Can't get that one to go either. Matasek to Hunter. Got an A. Back to Matasek in the corner. Swishes Slash. that three ball. And just like that. Dragons down by six now. 49 for the Dragons, 55 for the Pioneers. Tim Song. Into Cody. Cody just gets flaming in the air and then puts the two points in. Jock at the corner. Got an eight. Jacoby Hunter. From the elbow now. Not a sec from three. That's going to be short. That's an air ball. Great switch there from Tim Sung to step up in Matasek's space. Worry him out of that bucket. Toto into Matt Campbell now. Tim Sung, just a bit too many wheat mix this morning there for Woodfall. Couldn't connect, and that's going to be Pioneer's ball again. Looking to stretch their four-point lead. As we've got the ref going for a jog to get the ball back. Pioneer's ball from the side. It's got an A, takes a seat. And Bardell steps on for the Pioneers. And a sec, working inside against Cody. 
Too big. Toadie tried to get up. Uh, Toto tried to get up from the block there. Couldn't get it. Two points, matter sec. Tim Song back there. Campbell. Woodfall looked like he was going to step into a three. Campbell will. Can't get that one to go. Bardell with the rebound into Matasek. And Hunt is going to push this one up against Tim Sung. Screen coming there from Bardell. Tim Sung staying with the ball though. The jock for three. Lovely rebound there from Toto with Bardell right there. Campbell back to Woodfall. Oh, <laughs> that was looked like just a blatant wow. shoulder charge almost. <laughs> and Fleming not not called there. Cody up in the air gets the foul there. Looks like it's going to be on the jock the jock. No, that's going to be on Bardell. I do apologise. As Cody's going to go to the line there for two points. But yeah, definitely before Fleming just coming through. Yeah. Certainly not deliberate anything. Just. Uh, but yeah. not a lot of arguments time. from anyone on the floor or coaching, so, you know. Maybe we just had a, a really <laughs> good or really bad line on us. <laughs> Cody knocks down the first. And the second. <laughs> Pioneers ball base. Bit of confusion with the subs. We'll go on without them. Yeah, and no, I, I uh, rate that. The referee put up her hand and said that was my bad. I messed up that. And I respect that. For three, Majok Majok in the corner. Gets that one to go. Dra Northside Dragons 53. Pioneers now on 60 points. Seven point lead with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Cody almost instantly triple teamed. Misses, but Toto cleans up. Puts two points in for the Dragons. Jacoby Hunter still being hassled by oh, Tim Sung up the, the court. 360 assist. Oh, Not to be. No. Would fall from three. Oh. Gets that one to go. <coughs> the human microwave. At it again. Dragons. <coughs> Down by two points now. Hunter, can't get that one to fall. Fleming versus Woodfall. Fleming comes down with it. Can't get it to go. Toto tips to Woodfall. Dragons heading the other way quickly. Campbell for three. Gets it Third to go. Third time lucky, Matty Campbell. And just like that, Dragons have the lead back. Only one point lead as 61 lead. Pioneers on 60. So Matt Campbell didn't play a, a second in the first half until right at the end of the second quarter when Kopska's picked up his third foul and he's giving coach Sean Connolly some good minutes here. As Hunter tries to dump off to Bardell but can't get the timing right. And that's going to be Dragons ball base as we see some subs coming in both ways. Toto's going to take a seat for the Dragons as Majok Majok does the same for the Pioneers. Woodfall bringing this up for the Dragons. Song to Campbell in the corner. Two in a row. Right open. Not to be. Can't do it short on that one. Fleming for three. Whoa. Fleming says, watch this. Pioneers back with the lead. 63-61. Three there. Oh, Tim Sung. That's easy money for Tim Sung. Carving his way through, through the defenders who weren't boxing out. Cleaned up. We have a tied ball game here, folks. 63 apiece. Oh, Ooh, sloppy ball there, but Matasek getting the shot up. Regain it, got the shot up. Couldn't get it to fall. Woodfall pushing. That's going to be Pioneer's foul. Looks like Jacoby Hunter. And Hunter's come off second best there. Looks like he's jarred his thumb. <laughs> right, I'm sure he'll be fine. Tim Sill, going to chuck this one in. Only the Hunter's for the second personal, so he's not in any danger. Andy Campbell, same spot again. There he three goes. points. Ooh. As the Dragons now take a three point lead with four minutes 50 left in this quarter. 
Coach Connolly rewarding Matt Campbell with good minutes by giving him more minutes. So great to see a coach rewarding a player who's out there performing well. Yep. Jacoby Hunter to Fleming. Inside to Dumpster Bardell. Tim Sung's going to pick up the foul there. Big smile on his face. True gentleman of the sport is our Tim Sung. As we see Bardell going to the line for two. Overcooks that one slightly. See if he can make the adjustment for the second. Dragons 66, Pioneers 63. Can't make the adjustment. Woodfall, one of the shorter Dragons, comes down with the rebound there. In the middle of the tall timber. Matty Campbell for three again, short on this one. As we see Stefano Delorio copping a bit of a nudge. Pioneers will be pinged for the foul there, and there'll be Dragon's ball from the base. Third foul on Matasek. So Matasek and Kopsikis, leaders of their respective teams, both on three fouls. Tim Sung from base. Up to Cody. Gets up. Bardell with the block there for the Pioneers. Cody right in Hunter's pocket. Fleming. Thought about it. Still thinks about it. Gets it up with Cody right there. Gets him in the air. They've rewarded it. <laughs> a little bit of an NBA-style move there, but uh, there was contact, so. Yeah, we've had the Americans blowing up because that shot doesn't get rewarded <laughs> in yes. FIBA, but here it is. They, they won't like seeing that footage either. <laughs> Which I'm sure they're all watching. I'm sure they're watching. Hello, Kevin Durant. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast. Huge GBL fan. <laughs> Fleming is going to have three of these. Well, as Box we say first. at Ball Don't Lie Australia, Ball Don't Lie <laughs> must have been a foul. Yeah. Never does. <laughs> <laughs> Never does, yeah. baby. And the second. One more to go. Surely it doesn't, doesn't miss. Well, this one will tie up the game again at 66 apiece if he makes this one. There oh. we go again. <laughs> Got him. Sorry, Pioneers fans. <laughs> You're welcome, Dragons fans. Matt oh, Stefano's wide open yes. under the hoop. Still and not open. Even looking at him. Still open. <laughs> Cody for three. Stefano gets that rebound. Tracks it down. Kicks it around. Ten left on the clock. Stefano for three. Short on that one. Cody bring that rebound though, gets it up, two points. Dragons back out to a three point lead, 68 65 with 3.33 left in the third. See Kopskis warming up his legs on the other side of the court there, so it won't be long till we see him back in on three fouls, of course. Fleming. Good fall there. Oh. Geez, Fleming's first step is quick, isn't it? Yes, it is. Woodfall left reeling after that one. Stefano with the rebound. Fleming goes flying. Campbell, kick to Tim Sung. Oh, Tim Sung, lovely dumper. Stefano, who's going to go to the line for two there. Dominic Walsh picking up the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, picking up the foul there. That's going to be his third foul as well. As Delorio knocks down that one, stretching it to a five-point lead. So that one knocks it up to a five-point lead. Yeah, the score bench officials are on point tonight. Oh, Those points are on the board before so we even see the ball go in. Oh, and that's going to Kopsika's fourth. And this is bad news for the Dragons. Oh, bad news bears for sure. Sean Connolly with a look of despair on his face. Not impressed. Don't know at who, but... No, definitely looked <laughs> to tap the ball away with his hand, but must have been some uh, referees seen some body contact there before the tap. Jacoby Hunter nearly losing that one. Fleming from the car park. Splashes it. 
almost from the Croquet Club across the road. Tim Song to Anthony Kopskis. Lovely pass. Stefano working hard. Four point lead now, 72 points for the Dragons, 68 for the Pioneers. Fleming, fast hands. Oh, and Kopskis, he has to be <laughs> careful. He's, he's given the ref something to think about by putting his hands in. but He certainly has. Look, if I, I'm the Dragons, I'm trying to hide Kopskis on defense now. He is probably our best, defend, or our best defender if I'm on the Dragons, but four fouls, there's a lot of time left. Ooh, entire quarter. Jacoby Hunter, Bardell, Bardell just oh, couldn't get that to go. inexcusable at this level. We've got to finish that. And he knows it. That's going to come off Badman's foot, I believe. It's going to be Dragon's ball. With two minutes and 15 seconds left in the third. We've got 72 points for the Northside Dragons, 68 for the Pioneers. Stefano, going to go to work. Woodfall. Kopsikas for three. Tim Sung inside. Got to put that on the ground. Fouls on the floor, but that'll put the Pioneers into the penalty and Tim Sung will go line for two. He will indeed. That's going to be four fouls on Bardell as well. He's going to take a, a seat in a moment, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, and with Majok, Matasek and Bardell on the bench, Pioneers going really small here. As Tim Song looks down the first one, stretching it out to a five-point lead now back for the Dragons. Make that six with two minutes left on the clock. Badman now. Got an A. Jacoby Hunter overshoots that yeah, one, strangely. An interesting uh, shot there. And Tim Song was... Tearing down the court, but not being vocal enough. No one knew, except us. That's going to be a foul on Badman. That's going to send Anthony Kopskis to the line. As Matasek's going to check back in. For Badman, who's just picked up his second. So Jacoby Hunt is going to take a seat. Not Badman. Anthony Kopskis from the line. Knocks down his first. Pioneers on 68. With that second made free throw, and Dragons are going to be on 76. Eight point lead for the Dragons here. With a minute 42 left in this one. This quarter. Baden works his way into the key. Couldn't connect. Dragons ball going the other way quickly. Fleming again. Tim Sung. Kicks Ant from three. And that's oh, going down. Baby. And that's going to stretch. Stretch Dragons to an 11 point lead with a minute to go. Yeah, first double digit lead since early in the first quarter. Majok, Majok. Stefano with the rebound. Ant with a nice little move there. He lost his feet. Woodfall gets oh. that one to go as well. And that's going to stretch to 82 points for the Northside Dragons. 68. 68 points for the Pioneers. All right, mate, we've got the Pioneers uh, calling a timeout here for obvious reasons. If you're in that huddle, what do you, what do you say to the Pioneers, boys? <laughs> I won't use the words that Jeff Tarrant's likely <laughs> using because we'll get pulled off the air. Um, but look, I highly doubt he's happy with um, their offensive looks. I mean, their defense hasn't been great here, but a few interesting shots on, on offense with sort of one pass and then a three-pointer going up. And they had some really great ball movement going on in the first half, and that's how they sort of held the lead going into half time. So, look... 14 points. There's still over a quarter of basketball to go. Oh, yes. This thing is not <laughs> over. They know that. Dragons know that. 
but they, the Pioneers need to look after the ball a bit better and get not, some points on the board. And not foul at the same time. They've got a couple of players now who are getting up there in numbers, fouls-wise. So Always a good strategy. But they also have talent. They're not short of it. In a sec. Tim still knocking that one back into the backcourt. Majok, Majok. Good to go in. Badden. Stefano. And that's going to be Dragon's ball there. Mm. Badden losing that one inside. Tim Sung. Still losing that one off the referee. Tim Sung losing that one. I'm not sure what Timmy was doing. Oh, he's, uh, he's claiming sweaty ball. Let's give it a what. <laughs> nothing worse than sweaty ball. As we have the Dragons now with 22 seconds left in the third on 82 points. And Pioneers on 68. Pang. He's going to make some moves, get inside. Kick is going to be pinged and for another travel tonight. I believe that's his third this evening. Has had a couple. <coughs> Fleming now with 18 seconds left on this one. Shot clock's off. Out a sec now. Padden. Tim Song. Yeah, time to get a shot off here. Three. Oh. Underarm. <laughs> underarm scoop there. Just oh. couldn't get it to go. Quite a bit short. All right. We have Northside Dragons on 82 points. Pioneers. 14 points behind on 68, and we've got 10 minutes of basketball remaining. Fingers crossed. It's coming home to North Brisbane. Unless, of, unless of course, you're a Pioneers fan. <laughs> There's a whole quarter of basketball <coughs> to go. This is a stopped or, you know, um, what's it called? A timed game where the clock stops when the <coughs> ball's not in play. So... A 14-point lead in a non-time game would, would probably just about do it. But in these games where the clock stops, anything can happen. I'd be getting to the free throw line, trying to just tap away at that lead with the clock stopped, make a run, put some pressure on the Dragons. Anything can happen in the last few minutes. Oh, it definitely can. This lead is not insurmountable. We've got 10 minutes of... Basically, push, push, push basketball that we're about to see here for the Pioneers. They're not going to want to give up on this. They're going to keep pushing all the way. Not going to let Dragons just have this. And here we go. Dragons 82, Pioneers 68. Tim Song for three. Short on that one. Lovely rebound there. Anthony Kopsikis gets it back up. Pang with the rebound on that time. Kicks it out. Tim Song just can't connect with Pang there. He's giggling at himself. Claim sweaty ball again, Timmy. That's <laughs> definitely what the issue was. Uh, but it's little plays like that that could bring Pioneers back into this. Empty trips. That's what Pioneers need out of the Dragons. Fleming driving in, kicking out. Badman, Matasek, nine, eight on the shot clock. Four now. Majok gets it up. Gets it to go. Two points with two seconds left on the shot clock. Anthony Kopskis to Toto. Tim Sill. Inside. Campbell. Anthony Kopskis just couldn't connect with Toto inside, but that's another empty trip from the Dragons when they can't even get a shot up. Matasek to Fleming. Lovely tip to himself there for Toto. Get up, Timmy. Timmy. Just One get the day feeling. he won't let me down. <laughs> just get the feeling business decision was made there. Matasek now. 
As Dragons are out to 16, Matasek puts up a three. Campbell bringing that one down. Alistair Campbell, that is. Matasek swiping at the ball. Oh, lovely pass. Pang can't get that one to go. Lovely pass there from Kopskis, though. Matasek. Alistair Campbell on him. Got an eight. Gets it up. Toto with the rebound. Kopsikas. The jock now spun behind him. Fleming, that's going to be a charge. And, and that's going to be Ant out of the game. Ant's grand final over. Frustrating evening for Kopsikas. It is indeed. That's going to be him done with seven minutes and 51 seconds left. Dragons have a 16-point lead if they can hang on. Dragons here on 84 points. Pioneers on 70 as the Pioneers have called this timeout. They're now down to just one timeout left as Ant still talking about it with Ref Darrell. Not happy about it, but there's nothing he can do now. He's, he's done. He's out. Five fouls. It definitely changes the uh, conversation down there in both timeouts with one of the team leaders for the Dragons now being off the court for the rest of this one, Dan. Yeah, look, you'd much rather be up 14 than down 14 with that happening, but it's still a big loss for Dragons. Uh, one of their leaders on the floor, one of their best defenders, an outside threat. He's now going to watch the last eight minutes from the sideline. Which, knowing it, is not going to be a comfortable eight minutes for him. Or the referees that have to run past him a few times. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be gentlemanly with his, with his language, I'm sure. As we see Majok Majok into Matasek. Out to Jacoby Hunter. Pioneers look to have a little bit of extra pep in their step now. Jacoby Hunter gets that one up. Can't get it to go, but gets the rebound again. No, it doesn't. Woodfall snatches that one away. <laughs> yeah, Woodfall's oh. going to be called for that one. Turning back into Jacoby Hunter. Even though he felt the contact was coming the other way. That's an interesting call. And Hunter with a little smirk on his face. I think he knows he got away with one there. Yeah. He's definitely not going to go argue it. Nope. As uh, Dragons, 84. That'll be one to bring up at our Pirates practice tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Pioneer, 70. Jacoby Hunter out to Godinay. Gets it up. Can't get it to go. Yeah, and look, Pioneer's tactic here is pretty clear. They just want to get some freeze up. Try and get back in this one. Toto. Not working thus far. Ooh. Tried to thread the needle there, couldn't do it. They can't. Yeah. It's not going to be an unsportsmanlike. It was players ahead of the play there. Uh, Pang and picking deemed, up that one. Deemed to be a play at the ball. That's Pang's only the, his first foul for the evening. He's got the Dragons still on 84. Pioneers still on 70. Jacoby Hunter. Looked to be past Cody a couple of times there, but couldn't. Got an A driving in. Toto Straight up behind. and down defense from Pangy there. Good fall. Screen was coming but came too late. Pang, Fleming with the hands. Would fall, that's uh -oh. looking pretty good. <laughs> but no. Cody though, no, oh. that can't go either. That's going to be off Pioneers and that's going to be Dragon's ball from baseline with 6 minutes 36 left in this one. 84 points for the Dragons. Still... Still 70 points for the Pioneers. Feels like we've been on this score for about two or three minutes now. Yes, since 7.50, so what's that? A minute and a half almost. Toto, can't go. Cody, that won't go either, but they're going to call Baden there for the foul. And he'll be heading to the line there, Cody will. And that is all she wrote for Jacoby Hunter. Even though he was not involved in the play. Yep, Jacoby Hunter's trying to talk it out with Raph Darrell, but nope, he's out of the game. That'll be that as we see Matt Campbell checking in for the Dragons. Campbell for Campbell. 
Alistair for Matt. Robbie Cody knocks down that first one. 85 now for the Dragons, 70 for the Pioneers. 15 point lead, 6 minutes, 24 seconds left in the game. And if Pioneers didn't already have an uphill battle, trying to get back into this one without Jacoby Hunter, their leading scorer, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Uh -huh. Matasek straight away looking to push. And straight away gets two points. That's what they're going to need, quick buckets. And a lot of them. Would fall. Yeah, and, and if we see any more of that from Matasek, it won't be that's long till... That's going to be a travel. Should have been, but no. it's not. It's all okay. good. Okay. Would fall to Matt Campbell. Looking his way inside of the tall timber. Yeah. Just can't connect there. Made Fleming. a good play, but dribbled into trouble there. Yep. Jeez, Fleming's fast. Badman <laughs> gets up another two points, and that's going to be a quick... No, I was no, thinking subs. the same thing. Yeah. No, nah, they've got a sweat patch. Ah, right. I was going to say that. Thought that was going to be a quick Dragons timeout there after the couple of quick buckets, but no. Yeah, quick timeout, and I'd look at putting uh, Timmy Sung back in to guard Matasek. <laughs> he made life very difficult for Jacoby Hunter and Matasek, and right now he's watching from the bench, but I don't imagine they'll be for much longer. Oh, we seem to be standing now. And now he's sitting back down. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the Tim Sung update, Mal. Yep, no worries. <laughs> it's what everyone Campbell wanted. there across the top, would fall. To Pang. To Campbell. Can do it. Not that time. Nothing but net, but it's got to go through it, not under it. Matasek to Fleming. Oh. Thought oh. about it, but Cody was right in his airspace. Jeez, Goes I would inside. love to be half as quick as this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, he is fast. Yes. He certainly is. I mean, we saw him in limited capacity off the bench for Ipswich, but to see him in big minutes tonight really seems he's, just he's how not fast tall he is. timber, but he is just oh, so quick. Pang for three, short. Matt Campbell and Badman going in. It's a jump ball, and that's going to be Pioneers balls. We've got five minutes and one second left. Speaking of Ipswich, Mal. Yes. For any fans of the Ipswich Force that are tuning in to see uh, Michael Fleming tonight. You will want to check out our podcast next week. We're not going to tell you who our guest is, but let's just say you'll be very interested to have a listen to our guest interview next week on Board Don't Lie Australia. Yeah. He's kind of like me. He's a big deal. All right, we've got Bardell kicking to Matasek, and that's going to be a block down there for Woodfall. And that's going to be Matasek going to the line. This is now a 10-point game. Dragons on 86, Pioneers on 76. Four minutes, 52 left. Yeah, and as we mentioned, this can get tight really quickly. <laughs> it doesn't take long to turn a game around when in, in modern-day basketball and everyone's shooting threes. No, but... Uh, that's not going to help, is no, it? <laughs> no, no. Missing your free throws will not help at any level of basketball. Knocks down the second, though. That's the other thing they need to do is to score with the clock stop, get to the free throw line. The Dragons are in the penalty from here on out. Good fall. Round to Cody. Gets it up. But it won't get the foul or the basket. Got an A now, looking to push. Matasek with another two points. And just like that, just like that, it's down to a seven-point lead for the Dragons. Dragons 86, Pioneers 79. Around the top, Tim Sung. Matasek overplaying him on D. Toto going inside, and nice. then finally two points. Feels like it's been a few trips where I haven't been able to get points inside for the Dragons. Pang's going to be coming in for Matt Campbell. He's going to take a seat. As our, frankly, overworked floor wiper here. Back at it once more. Doing a great yeah, job. Regular Capitals crew here to... Do the floors as per usual. Absolutely love their work. Four minutes 13. As Dragons with that last basket. Stretch back to 88. Pioneers 79. Dragons do also have 14 fouls. 
Pioneers just with the one. As we go for a little bit more floor cleaning. Everyone's got an opinion on the best way to do it. Here we go now. Back to action. Fleming to Matasek. Bang of a track playing, being playing here live. Cody with the hands. Matasek will return <sighs> hands. Fake high. Go yep. low. <laughs> no one ever listens to me, Mel. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Fleming short on that one. Woodfall brings down the rebound. Cody could have been up there. Dishes it late though, Woodfall. And two points to the Dragons as they go to 90 points. Pioneers on 79. 11 point lead once more for the Dragons. Three minutes 30 left. Got an A from three. Oh. Splashes that one. That shortens the airspace between the two. Love a good swish bomb. Dragons 90, Pioneers 82. Temp to Pank to Woodfall. Toto. And to Pioneers Pank. in a 1-3-1 one, one zone here, which you don't see Woodfall. a whole lot of. Woodfall open, short, Pang fighting. Oh, Hate to disagree, but it, I disagree with that one. But that's going to be Pioneers ball from the base with three minutes left. Eight point deficit. It's all they're staring down. Doable, especially with three minutes to go. Oh, that's not going to help, though. Bardell. Uh, just leaving a bit too early. Last game, couldn't get the connection. Two minutes 51 left in the fourth. Dragons, 90. Pioneers, 82. Yeah, we've got it. we got some technical issues here. We'll just try and get them sorted quick smart and be right back with you. Nope. 